During a game, the music will often switch between different styles of music composed for different aspects of gameplay. One challenge for music integrators is creating a system to transition between themes in a way that feels musically appropriate, but at the same time is reactive to the circumstances of the game. WISE has specific transition features for addressing the various challenges in making the music dynamically react in the game. We'll start with the project that has various types of music already configured within a music switch container called WISE 201 Music. State groups displayed in the transport view simulate the player being alive, and in this case, in a general mode of gameplay. When in this general mode of gameplay, a switch group determines if the player is engaged in combat or just exploring the world. We can see that by clicking to switches. Currently it's set to explore, but we want to simulate the player dying in combat. So we'll change this to combat. I'll move this back to states. Now let's take a listen. Now, this is the, uh, this is the combat music. And let's simulate the player dying by changing the player life state to dead. Now notice that the death music didn't play for quite some time. Uh, to see why there's such a delay, we'll choose the WISE 201 music, uh, music switch container and then click the transitions tab in the property editor. In this tab, uh, we, this is where we define rules for how music should transition as the conditions of the game change. In the transitions list, you see a row that says any to any. This is a default rule that says anytime any type of music is playing and the conditions of the game change to merit switching to another piece of music, how should the transition happen? To see what will happen, click the any to any line. Now down below in the source area, there's a property that says exit source at exit queue. Uh, this means that the transition won't uh, happen until the currently playing music reaches the exit queue defined in the currently playing music segment. This is why it's taking so long for the death music to come in. Exit source at exit queue might be okay for a default rule, but when the player dies, uh, it may be several measures before the exit queue uh, of the source music is reached, which would cause the death music to feel really disconnected from the event of the player actually dying. To manage this particular situation, uh, we'll add another transition rule. We'll click the Add Transition button. And in this case, instead of leaving it as any to any, uh, in this case, it doesn't matter which music is playing, so we can leave the source column to any, but when we transition to the death music, we want to change when the transition occurs. So we'll drag the death music to the destination column for the new rule. Now we can change the exit source app property to something that's a little bit more immediate. Now in this case, we'll go ahead and set it to next bar. This allows the music to complete the currently playing musical measure before moving to the death music. Now, let's see how that sounds. We'll change our player back to life. Play the music. And then we'll simulate the player dying. Now. Now we can hear the death music comes in in a much more immediate way. Now let's think about what happens when the player respawns and the player life state goes back to alive. It's hard to predict which music might need to play as the player could respond with the enemy nearby, therefore triggering combat music, with no, no enemy around, cueing the explorer music, or maybe even one of the other pieces of music like a boss fight. In any of these situations, it's possible that the player could respond before the death music has completed playing. Since the death music only lasts for a few bars, we want to ensure that it's completed playing before moving on to any other music. For this, we can create a death to any transition rule. We'll add another transition. In this case, we'll set death into the source column for the new rule and leave the destination on any. Now, if we look down at the uh, default setting for the exit source at property, it says execute. And this is exactly what we need. 
Uh, we don't want to transition to the next piece of music until the death music reaches its exit cue. Now to simulate what this would be, uh, let's give it a shot. We're already set, gameplay is set to players, set to dead. However, when the player responds, uh, I want to bring him back into the explore more mode of music. All right, let's try this. There's the death music, the player responds and is alive. And now we hear the transition uh, to, the, uh, to the explore music. Now the transition seems seamless. This is made possible because the source area is set to play post-exit and the destination area is set to play pre-entry. Uh, that's these checkboxes check here. Uh, with these options selected, the natural decay of the source is allowed to overlap the swells or the pickup notes of the destination music, making for a nice smooth transition. Now to appreciate what this process is doing, let's deselect these options and do that same transition again. Transition to alive. Yeah. yeah, you can hear that it was very abrupt. Um, and so again, we wanna leave these on in this case and then to see kind of what's happening, let's take a closer look at the death music and the music segment that is contained within. Here's its exit cue, and so you can see this area afterward is the post-exit area that is now being allowed to be heard. Uh, that will overlap uh, in the explore music. The explore music always starts off playing with the main theme, and so that will, uh, now when we transition to the explore music, it'll include this pre-entry area. Here's the entry cue. And so the exit cue of the death music will align with the entry cue of the explore music. And that's what creates this nice, smooth transition. Again, let's hear that one more time. Now we respawn. Great, now to learn how to configure entry and exit cues for the music you import, take a look at the first video in this music integration series.